In this video, we will know what is post optimality analysis or sometimes also known as sensitivity analysis. So, as the name itself suggests, post optimality analysis. So, we know that if there is a linear programming problem model that we can form from any problem and we can solve this LPP to find its optimal solution and there are methods to find the optimal solutions such as simplex method, big M, two phase, graphical method or the algebraic method and also we can apply dual simplex method. So I would suggest before going to this post optimality analysis, the student should know what is simplex method including big M two phase and also they should have the idea of dual simplex method. So in this lecture, we'll only be talking about what is post-optimality analysis. So to explain what is post-optimality analysis, let's consider this problem. A company wants to produce three products A, B, C and the unit profit on these products are rupees 4, 6 and rupees 2 respectively. These product requires two types of resources, manpower and raw material. And let's say based on the data because we have not specifically given here the data which corresponds to manpower constraint and raw material constraint but let's say the data is now i have written in the lp model we all know based on this problem we can find a linear programming uh, model and here is that model so this model because the profit is given so we write here maximization of z equal to 4x1 plus 6x2 plus 2x3 and obviously these decision variable x1 x2 x3 corresponds to the the three product so xi's these are the units uh, corresponding to products a b and c respectively so we have three uh, decision variable x1 x2 x3 and this is the lpp now suppose that a company wants to further know what would be the optimal decision if there is a change in the cost or there is a change in the resource material available or if there is a change in the constraint coefficient so what would be the change in that whole LPP? What would be the change specifically in the optimal solution? So in the post optimality analysis, we wanted to know about the change corresponding to the objective function, right hand side and of course the variables also. Let's look these changes one by one. But let me to also write here the LPP in the same format but I want to now write this with the variables only so if I write this LPP as rather than writing 4x1 now I'm only using cx1 plus c2x2 plus c3x3 so that means c1 is 4 c2 is 6 c3 is 2 but suppose now if I want to make any change in 4 6 2 to certain other uh, profits then we'll understand that changes based on the c1 c2 c3 and then we have the constraint a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 and we have this as right hand side so what i'm doing is i'm generalizing these variable i'm writing them in the form of a variables Okay, so this is what your LPP look like. We know on the left hand side what are the specific values of CIs, AIs and BIs. Now suppose that the company wants to understand the change in the objective function coefficient and why would be the company want a change in the objective function? Obviously, the first case say you can have here say the profit for product A is changed from 4 to 8. So there is a drastic change in the profit of product A. Earlier the company used to have a profit of 4 rupees per unit. Now the company have a profit of 8 rupees per unit. So that means now this change 
will correspond so this change will make my objective function as maximization of z equal to 8x1 plus 6x2 plus 2x3 so obviously we want to now know what would be the optimal solution of this lpp subject to the given constraints the same constraint we are using we are not making any change in the constraint but we have only made a change in the objective function or you can have any other case where the company changes its objective function so the cost 4 is changed to sum c1 cost 6 of x2 variable is changed to sum c2 and the cost of x3 variable which was earlier rupees 2 and now it has been changed to c3 so this is what we say change in the objective function coefficient and similarly a company can also want to know suppose earlier we have men power constraint the right hand side is 3 so now the right hand side of first constraint is changed to is changed to say 7 or maybe the right hand side of second constraint is changed to say 8 so the raw material resource material has now have a limitation and only eight units are available with us so what would be the change in the optimal solution of the lpp knowing that we already know the optimal solution of the star problem so when we construct a problem we know how to solve this problem the star problem we can apply simplex methods or the very or its variance and we can solve the lpp but even after solving the lpp and we if we know the optimal solution and then we want to understand the change or by mistake we have written a wrong data and then we want to understand the change so we don't want to solve the whole lpp again but we only want to understand the change due to one parameter so similarly there could be other possible changes change in the decision variable so decision variable means consumption of resources so if there is a change in aij so what is my aij we can look back so these are my coefficients aij if there is any change in this coefficients of the decision variable which corresponds in the constraint if there is a change in aij what would be the optimal change if there is and the next fourth case would be what is the change of the addition of constraint so addition of a constraint means earlier we had only two constraint one is manpower constraint another is raw material constraint so suppose there is uh, one more uh, constraint available with the company and the corresponding consumption data for that constraint is something like this and let's say this is another one more machine constraint so there is one machine uh, let's say there's first machine and this is the corresponding constraint we want to add so what would be the change if there is one more product coming out of this machine uh, not the product but there is one more constraint uh, due to this machine that the company is facing so what would be the change corresponding to this and there would be one more case now addition of a product or a variable earlier the company is producing three products a b c now suppose that company decide to launch two more product d and e so this means that corresponding to this these two more product there would be a variable and corresponding to this some data the company has assumed correspondingly profit or there, there would be the consumption due to these products so addition of the product so what would be the addition of the product this will contribute something in the objective function so we already have three variables but then we are adding two more or maybe one more so the company must take some tentative cost of c4 c5 and subject to some constraints which involves which involves these variables which involves x4 and x5 
so what would be the change so these changes we study in post optimality analysis or the sensitivity analysis now to understand these changes one thing that we need to start is that we have an lpp and we already have solved the lpp so how do we start so in this starting we have the lpp model that is what we have the formulation we have already solved this lpp model using some simplex method or by big a method or by two phase method or maybe by dual simplex method so we already know what is the optimal solution of this lpp and then we want to apply this post optimality analysis so now there is some change in some data and we want to apply post optimality analysis so while doing this post optimality analysis as this model says we don't want to solve the whole lpp so what we need to do is we need to understand the simplex table so in the simplex table we'll see again closely how where each factor contributes so here we write basic variables so here we write basic variables and here let's say these are my basic variables up to certain stage x n and then we have certain slack variables or maybe certain artificial variable if they arrive here we write the solution which is x b 1 up till so on some x b r if there are r variable but this side but this side if you want to uh, look at the formula of how do we calculate this side this is nothing but this is b inverse multiplied by right hand side so the solution contributes b inverse multiplied by right hand side so right hand side corresponds to feasibility and this each column that we want to calculate this is b inverse a1 this is b inverse a2 so this a1 a2 these are the column of my of the coefficient matrix this involves zj minus cj so z1 minus c2 z2 minus c2 and so on zr minus cr and this is the value for z which is cb into xb so from here it is very clear if there is a change in the cost so change in the cost will be reflected in this row change in cost if there is a change in the right hand side vector that means this column will change change in right hand side of constraints so we can calculate this new we we can calculate this new b inverse and the new b hat and similarly if there is a change in the coefficient matrix so we this is going to change coefficient matrix change so we have change in coefficient matrix and depending upon if any change disturb this table disturb this optimal table so when i say disturb this optimal table because it is current optimal table for the given lpp and we have made certain changes so if we make certain changes and let's say due to this change so for example we have calculated b inverse b hat and this new b inverse hat gives me a column of minus seven minus four seven and let's say three now you can see minus four is less than or equal to zero this has disturbed feasibility so if this has disturbed feasibility so here we can apply dual simplex method from here onwards from this table onwards we can apply dual simplex method to find the optimal solution incorporating the changes or in the similar manner if there is a change in the cost and the zj minus cj values which were earlier optimal but now if these are disturbed if it is maximization problem and they turn out to be some positive so we can apply the usual simplex method enter a variable and leave a variable and we can understand the change so for the example of this post optimality uh, topic you can look the next video